Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the user list control by CloudScope. The user list control is a simple tool for displaying a list of users, but it's not just for users. You can just use it to display a list of almost anything. Companies, projects, anything you think would fit nicely into a display with a picture, a description, and some data. So let's take a look at what it's all about. First, you may be somewhat familiar with this. This display looks like a user list on Twitter and that's what the styling is uh, created from. There's two ways you can display your list of users. First is this compact display and here we can go switch it over and we can have a much more uh, rich uh, elaborate display. To get started using the user list control we simply plop a new instance onto our screen We'll expand it a little bit, and then we'll start dragging in some columns of data from our data model. Now the user list is bound to your data model. It doesn't query Twitter or any external resource, so we provided some data. And then after we've done that, we're going to need to map those data columns to specific items. So here we're going to map some information such as name, description, the followers which is a data type, profile picture, the name, Oop, there we go another data column and verified. And so once we've done that it appears just like we saw a few moments ago and if we wanted to take a look at that and expand it we'll just flip off compact and there we go. That's a quick look into what the user list tool does. Again, you can use it for users, but any types of data that you might want to display right within uh, Power BI. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, it's selection enabled. So if we click something, that acts as a filter onto other data items on this particular report page. Thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed looking at user list and we'll talk to you again soon.